Non-wetting soils or water repellent soils are a huge problem throughout Western Australia. They probably cover about 5 million hectares and why they're important in Western Australia is that we have really sandy soils and non-wetting is caused by organic materials, particularly fatty acids and other organic materials which coat the sand particles and prevent water from actually penetrating into the soil. What then happens is that because there's poor water penetration we tend to get reduced seedling emergence, staggered germination of weeds and then staggered maturation of crops. So we've got all these factors which generally limit crop yields by up to 20 to 30 percent in some situations. The non-wetting layer is usually in the top 10 to 15 centimetres of our sandy soils and is obviously related to the organic materials within that layer. As you go down through the profile the soil becomes more wettable so in actual fact if you are trying to overcome non-wetting you're really dealing with the top 10 to 15 centimetres of the soil. What you tend to see in, in non-wetting soils is areas of very dry and also wet areas. The wet areas are obviously where the water is infiltrated into the profile and it tends to form tongues as whether the water is infiltrated into the profile. As I've mentioned, the, the soil properties which affect non-wetting are really our sandy surface soils. And in subsequent series, we'll be talking about ways in which we can overcome non-wetting by either changing the texture of the soil, inverting the soil, or adding surfactants to improve the wettability of the soil.